My name is Richard M. Richardson, and this is my beautiful daughter, Sarah the Stove Princess, and we run the Good Time Stove Company. We're in uh, Goshen, Massachusetts, and uh, Good Time Stove Company turned 40 years old this year. We specialize in antique stoves from 1830 to the 1930s, both kitchen ranges and heating stoves. All of our stoves are original stoves that we restore. We're talking about Ben Franklin stoves. Um, ben Franklin was the originator of the antique heating stove and it was from his design that all future heating stoves were made. I got in this business because I'm a collector. I was uh, in between trying to figure out how to make a living and I turned around to see what I could liquidate and uh, I had eight stoves that I had collected in order to find the right stove for myself. It was in the first oil crisis we had and all of the stoves sold. Right now we probably have about 300 stoves. We reach out pretty far, you know, if you have a vintage home, you want a vintage stove. We work with lots of set production companies, whether they're theaters, movies, plays, TV shows. Yesterday we worked with a movie company, last week we were working with a television company, and one of the real um, feathers in our hat is a stove that was in our performance at Lincoln Center. In the 40 years that we've been in business, the stove company has gone from paper to the fax machine to video and now to the internet and to the social media. The Good Time Stove Company is really proud to have a super robust website. We've got video, our Facebook and our fan pages, which we're actively posting on, photos and information and articles. And as customers come to us with unique histories or family stories about their stoves, they go up into our social media world. Something like Facebook can be quick and fun and easy. And you can put up one picture, or you can put up 50 pictures, you can put up one post a week, or you can put up five posts a week. But it can be really quick and easy and reaches a huge market. If you were to Google antique stoves or any variation of old stove or vintage stove, you'll find that the Good Time Stove Company not only comes up on the first page, but usually within the first two or three listings, if not the first listing. And that's happened by being very conscientious that the words and language we use on our website matches the words and language that our customers and users are using to find us as they do their search engine work. We had our website hacked this past year because we had let go of a company that was our server. We put our website in a new server. It wasn't a secure website. The biggest challenge we have faced is keeping up with technology and being able to be aware of the changes that are coming down and staying in front of them. That means knowing your passwords, knowing your FTP information, knowing how to get in and out of your website, even if you have somebody else who manages it for you, and just being empowered to feel comfortable managing your website or at least having an informed conversation with a webmaster or with someone who does website management about how to maintain and protect your website. I'm 64 years old now. I've been self-employed since I'm 21 years old. Uh, I love the challenges, the continual availability of learning, how it makes me feel. You wear many hats when you're self-employed. Uh, it's allowed me to grow tremendously, and at this point I've crossed over 20 years ago from not only running the Good Time Stove Company to uh, an environmental artist, and I've created the Three Sisters Sanctuary. 20 years ago, I had uh, lost my brother, and through trying to heal my own grief, I had decided to start to do uh, the gardens outside, and I built a space that I call Healing Gardens, and I opened it to the public three years ago uh, to come at will uh, and visit, and hopefully leave their baggage behind as they pass through these gates. It's been something that uh, I feel that I can give back to my community. I have loved the Pioneer Valley since the day I arrived here, and if I can give them a gift, that is equal to the gift they've given me back. I hope I have done this in my lifetime by creating the Three Sisters Sanctuary.